All right, guys, let's talk about another beautiful budget-friendly guitar. This is the Indio by Monoprice Cali Deluxe Plus. This guitar is only about $230, and it's got a beautiful full-thickness ash body on here. Let's check it out. Now guys, I've checked out some other products from Monoprice before. Uh, in fact, recently I checked out the Stagerite 30 watt tube amplifier, which was really, really cool. And a lot of people have been you know, requesting that I do more Monoprice stuff, because you can get these on Amazon and off the Monoprice website and even sometimes on eBay. And it's just you know, a, really, a really good value-friendly brand that makes a lot of different products, right? This one in particular, uh, this is the Cali DLX Plus. This is actually one of their more expensive guitars that's in a Strat style like this. But when I say more expensive, I mean this guitar only costs like $229 or you know, $230. And if you're in the US, I believe you can get free shipping. It comes with a nice gig bag and everything. But this guitar actually has a, a couple of cool upgrades from some of their less expensive guitars. Now the most noticeable thing on this guitar is the body. It's got a really nice transparent finish on a solid ash body. And this is a full thickness body. Now some guitar players like thinner bodies, uh, but if you're the kind of guy that likes a nice thick piece of ash, this is really the guitar for you. It's thick and also fairly heavy for a Strat style guitar. I weighed this guitar and this one here is 8.6 pounds. Now people will argue about whether or not that makes any difference on the tone, but one thing I can say for sure is that the guitar feels very solid and it also balances really, really well. Now the other cool, nice upgraded feature on this guitar is the Wilkinson Bridge. You've got these really nice uh, adjustable smoothed over saddles on here, so it's very, very comfortable when you're palm muting or resting your hand on there. And also this is a nice Wilkinson two-point bridge, so you can set it up to be uh, kind of hard against the body, or you can set it up to be a floating bridge by adjusting the springs and screws in the back. And, you know, to be honest, you know, any bridge that doesn't have like locking uh, nuts up here, uh, it's never going to be as stable as like a Floyd Rose style bridge or a double locking bridge but this is still just going to be light years ahead of a traditional Strat bridge. So compared to one of those old vintage style bridges, this is going to be more comfortable for your hand and it's also going to hold the tuning better. Now the rest of the specs on the guitar are pretty standard for a Strat style guitar. You've got a five-way toggle switch, single volume, two tone controls, and you got 22 frets. These are medium-sized frets and it's a rosewood fret board on a maple neck. And we've got the traditional three single coil pickup arrangement on here and a nice tortoise shell pick guard. All right guys, so I wanna plug this in and give you some more sound samples. I think you'll be pretty impressed with the tones from this guitar, but a couple of things I wanna mention real quick. The backing track that I was playing to at the beginning of the video, that is actually from the YouTube channel Velocity Jam Tracks. They've got some really cool stuff over there. Just to be clear, that's not my channel. I'm actually not involved with that channel other than I really enjoy the backing tracks on it. So I want to give them a shout out. I'm going to have a link in the video description below if you want to check out their channel and some of their backing tracks. And also guys, if you guys enjoy content like this and videos about affordable gear and you have not already subscribed, please consider subscribing right now. Okay guys, let's go ahead and plug this in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my Fender Mustang GTX 100. That's the the latest, greatest uh, Fender modeling amp and go through a few of the different sounds on that amplifier to give you guys some different tones with this guitar. All right, let's check it out. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, guys. So, what do you guys think of the tones from this guitar? I really like them. I mean, I, you know, I'm not a huge single coil guy, as you guys probably know. And these are not name brand pickups, right? These are these are proprietary pickups that come stock with the guitar, but they actually do sound really good. In particular, uh, the bridge pickup has a really nice crispness, really nice responsiveness to it that I that I really like. There's also some visual touches on this guitar. That are really cool. The fact that they're using just sort of like a like a cream color on the uh, the knobs and the pickup selector knob and also the pickup uh, bobbins here, it, it gives it uh, almost a sort of an aged look to it. Also, if you guys have watched some of my videos in the past, you know that I'm a real sucker for transparent finishes. I really enjoy seeing the wood grain on a guitar, and it really comes out nicely on this guitar. Now at 230 bucks with the gig bag and everything, this is a really good deal. But I know for some folks out there, even $230 is still expensive, you know, for a guitar. Fortunately, Monoprice, they do have some other guitars that are well under 200, even sometimes under $150. So it's definitely a brand to be looking at when you're in the market for an affordable guitar. Overall, this guitar is affordable, it looks good, and it's got a nice thick ash body. Now, like I said in the beginning, guys, I know a lot of people have been asking me to check out the Monoprice stuff. So, you know, I want to check out more of their products, but let me know what you guys specifically would like to see me check out. Uh, you know, maybe like a Tele style guitar or some of the single cut guitars that they have. Just let me know in the comment section below. Like usual, I will have links down in the video description below for where you can find that guitar as well as my social media and my online instructional materials. As always, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll talk to you soon.